Hey guys, how you going? I know it's been ages since I've done a post or anything. I kind of wanted, felt like having a break. I just wasn't feeling it for a little while. Um, but I'm ready to go again because we've got a beautiful patch of nettles. We're out at the Warren Bungles in the National Park. Way out whoop whoop a bit and stuff like that from the normal coastal sort of areas and that part. It's this beautiful little patch of nettles behind our campsite and I was just had to do it. I just I love these plants. Our whole family loves these plants. And I'm gonna tell you sort of some of the reasons why. Now, first now, there are three different types of stinging nettles, and obviously they will sting. I'll go over that a little bit. Um, first we got uh, Urtica diurtica, um, we got Urtica urens, and then we got the 91 Urtica incisa. Now some of these are from the European origins, but they've naturalized here and they're probably well worth getting to know. And that, um, so as I said, they are stinging nettles and they will sting. But the biggest thing I can say is if you pay attention and you just treat them with a bit of respect, generally you won't get near stung as much. Like I'm not getting stung right now. You know, I'm not treating the plant with complete disrespect. When you're not taking notice, when you're rushing around, particularly in the hinterland or these parts, you'll probably get stung and it will sting. There's, um, you know, um, it'll kind of, yeah, it'll sting, maybe that little bit stingy burn and it will end up giving a bit of a throb maybe with um, a pins and needles feel and that. So all that aside, let's just forget about that and we'll go, why is this plant so handy if it stings you and stuff? The stings are no longer relevant when we boil or cook with it. So, or anything like that. Some people even roll it up and eat it raw and that. Now, it's worthwhile doing this because like I said, it is really potent in nutrition, high protein, heaps of vitamins and minerals. And what that does is it's rebuilding to the system. It will um, work because it's high in minerals too. It generally has an affinity for your kidneys and urinary tract. So, and it'll have an affinity for the waters of your body. Generally, that's known as a diuretic. Um, Sage Popham is an amazing herbalist. He mentions um, that it's more like an aquaretic and that which is really relevant because it's actually working on the waters of your body, not just for your kidneys. And that dandelion leaf would be another one for, as an example, it would be doing that. Um, so it's got a really wide affinities, really high in nutrition. Like I was saying, it is rejuvenative, so it'll bring up a weak and emaciated, undernourished person. If you're talking in Ayurvedic terms, that would be considered a vata person. And that, that's, that's sort of uh, air and ether sort of elements there. Um, it will also help someone who is stagnant, prone to water stagnation, edemas, things like that. You know, who holds a bit of water. That's a kapha in Ayurveda or an earth element. Um, and they're prone to stagnation and stuff like that. So because it works on the waters, it will help to cleanse that out. So you could say it's both catabolic in the way that it's cleansing and removing metabolic waste, but with the nutrients and the, um, it is also rebuilding and rejuvenative. So it's putting minerals and nutrients and proteins in, which is building up um, a weakened with the body. And that's, so generally anyone can have this. It's really good. It's, um, it is an alternative, obviously, for the kidneys and stuff. It's removing waste, but also it is a really great blood cleanser. It purifies the blood, brings the blood. And talking about that, you may have heard of urtication or nettle um, slashing, bashing, whatever, and that where people actually cut off, and this is indigenous cultures that done this and everything, and that, you know, and people may go, why would you do that? It's dumb. It doesn't make sense. It's just a counter irritant. Kind of is, yeah. But based on what I've been saying, if you were to cut that and start, say if you had arthritic joints, stagnant joints, there's a lot of stagnation. No, it, it's cold, it doesn't have a lot of attention to it. If you were to go and whack nettles with that, yeah, it'd sting for a time. Of course it's going to sting. But what that actually does is increase the blood flow to the area, removing the old waste out of there and out of your body. So that would be cleansing the blood, bringing new fresh oxygenated blood and attention to that area, which it's said, I haven't actually needed to do it, give myself a nettle flogging personally, but it's said on general, like it can give you a week of, um, of 
uh, basically no pain, no symptoms of that manner. So that's symptomatic sort of thing, um, symptomatic helping symptoms. Um, but also it has been said, I've heard a few times that it actually has rid people of their problem. Totally. See you later. Ciao. Just pushing that fresh blood flow. If you were to have chili, you'd do something maybe a little bit alike, except chili would burn, whereas this would probably sting. But it would bring blood to that surface area and oxygenate that blood. So we can see that it's oxygenating, bringing fresh blood, helping that removal of waste products through the kidneys. It's building with the proteins and minerals. Um, how could you eat this? You eat it in a spinach, like a spinach. Treat it like a spinach so you can steam it, you can boil it like as a pot herb. Um, you can stir fry with it. You can make a pesto with it. You can put it into a broth. So if you're making broth, this would add nutrients to it and you can make other nutrient dense foods. This is a nutrient slash medicine. So it's both very nutritious on the borderline and completely medicinal. You can have it in an infusion. If I was looking at urinary tract problems or kidney flush, I'd definitely be having it in an infusion. Um, quite a lot of liquid. The water would be moving through your kidneys and urinary tract. Um, and also the nettles with the mineral exchange will be doing the same thing. And that, um, <laughs> a little boy without the daps on his stomach. Hey man. That hurt foot. You hurt your foot. Watch yeah. out for the stinging nettle. You better go over there away from the nettle. It'll get you. Get your little legs. Run, 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 run. <laughs> um, it's pretty cold out here as you can see. And that's definitely not coastal temperature here. It's about... Oh. I wouldn't even give it 12 degrees, no way. Um, anyway, so where are they? Okay, so you're probably going, yeah, okay, cool. So we can use it. How do I get it without getting stung? Okay, well, you can use gloves. If you're real good and you're nice to it, you can, I just got a little sting there actually, and that you can grab it and you take the first few tops. Don't take it when it's seeding. It can accumulate. Um, minerals which can crystallize in the body and actually not help at all. So do it, fresh young tops of the leaves and that you take first chip, chip and that go around chip, 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 and that but yeah not when it's flowering or seeding. The seeds can be used in a medicinal context and that's to do with your adrenals and that um, you have to be pretty particular in your dosage because they are quite stimulating. It's a fiery plant on the outside, obviously, by the way, it's sting you and interact with you, but obviously it's cooling and nourishing internally and that. So if you do get stung, um, you would actually, maybe if you find some plantain, if you don't know what plantain looks like, I have got videos of plantain. That's a very amazing herb. So you could put a bit of a spit poultice or be a bit of a juice and that, um, or a little infusion of that. But you can also use nettle itself and dock, Rumex species and they'll also settle the stings. And uh, um, so there's a few things, gloves, scissors. If you're in a national park, don't get any, and that you'd probably want to be going to a farmer, you know, farmer you know, or someone who has a property, or if you've got your own property, that's amazing. You'll find it along riverbeds, damaged areas. Um, you can also go onto herb stores and stuff like that, and um, you might be able to find uh, you might be able to find little plants on there. We've got some plants growing ourselves and stuff like that. Um, this is definitely a really powerful plant and it should be respected and it's very versatile. Obviously, like I said, you can use it as both medicine and nutrition. If you keep this in your eating, you'll find a lot of benefits. And, uh, um, so what do we got? We got how to interact with them a bit more appropriately and respect them, how to gather them a little bit. Um, we got how you can use them and we got a little bit of them associated with skin affinities, organ affinities, how we can use them. They are very versatile. Um, if you're looking at Ayurveda again or elemental sort of things, fiery people, air, water people, um, and earth people all can benefit from that. Um, if you're the Ayurvedic, Bata, Pitta and Kava have, all have numerous ways that you can definitely benefit from metals. But foremost, it is high in nutrients, minerals and vitamins and proteins. And it is cleansing of the body 
cleansing waters of the body and everything. And they're obviously working aid digestion as well. And we got our musical background. I might make that introductions to all our things. Hunter going, everywhere. All right, um, let me just drum my head in the silence and serenity of this landscape. No, I can't jog my head of anything. <laughs> so I might pull it up there. If there's anything else that I feel like I really need to talk about, I will just write it up or I'll do an extra video if I feel like it's really specifically necessary to talk about. But all the nettles that I mentioned at the start, they're all edible. And that, yeah, uh, just respect the plant. And that, you know, you don't have to get stung by them. You don't have to be frightened of them. All right. They're a nice plant. You just interact appropriately with them. Cool. All right. That'll be all from me. I'll shut up for another year or so. <laughs> okay. Ciao.